Welcome to zero to pro training.com. In this video, we will talk about the features of a relational database. We will talk about most important concepts related to relational databases. A database is constructed of multiples tables. A table is the most fundamental building block of a database. A database without a table would be of little or no use. There would be no data in the database without a table. Not only that, data would have nowhere to go if there is no table in the database. The data goes into database tables. Visually tables look like a spreadsheet. A table consists of columns and rows. Rows go from left to right. Columns run from top to bottom. Each table contains repeating information in shape of repeating rows. But always about the same kind of thing. For example, you might have one table containing customers information and another table containing suppliers information. Within customer table, every repeating row represents one single customer. Within supplier table, every repeating row represents one single supplier. Rows are not in a free form. There is a structure to the data. It has to be predetermined what every row is made of. You give structure to the data by defining columns in the table. You may have 10 columns in certain table or 100 columns. A column describes a piece of data. You give a name to each column. For example first name, last name, id etc. You also describe what type of data the column will contain. For example a piece of text or a date or a number etc. For example, this table has four columns. Each column has a data type given to it. The id column has a number data type assigned to it as it will contain numbers. The rest of the columns have text data type given to them as they will hold text values. Important point to note is that every row must follow the same structure. In this example, every row in employee table will have four values in the same order. Deviating from the structure is not allowed in relational databases. In a customer's table, each row will represent one unique customer. Each column will describe one specific piece of data about that customer. You can impose rules on the data by defining what kind of values these columns will contain. Once the rules are set, the database management system will not let us violate the rules. If it is defined that the id column of employee table will contain numbers, then we cannot create a new row that has text value in id column. If it is defined that the id column of employee table must have values, then we cannot create a new row that has no value in id column. You create tables and define columns up front. The rows comes later on as you insert data into the structure. When we talk about tables and columns, we are talking about data structure. When we talk about rows, we are talking about the data. Once the structure is defined, the data to day activity will result in the creation of new rows, modification of existing rows, deletion of rows, and retrieval of existing rows. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please visit zerotoprotraining.com.